Pilot, uh, 80-year-old Alex Dreyfus has always had an exceptionally sharp mind. A graduate of MIT and Harvard Business School, he won an Oscar for his work in video technology. For fun, he'd fly his own planes. When did you first start to notice that there was something going on with your memory? I would say it was first apparent when I was flying. And I'd hear a control tower give me some instructions and I would have to write it down where I never used to do that. I'm going to leave the card. Dreyfus's mother had Alzheimer's and he feared the same fate. So he underwent genetic screening and a battery of tests for memory and brain function. The results suggested he had the disease. But then doctors at Mount Sinai School of Medicine told him about a new test that would tell him for sure. You figured you had Alzheimer's probably? Yes. And I knew I, knew I was, as I say, not at the top of my game. I was clearly worse, you know, as time went on. Dreyfus got a PET scan with a new radioactive agent that detects amyloid plaques in the brain, the hallmark of Alzheimer's. Prior to this test, that could only be confirmed at autopsy. Dr. Sam Gandhi was part of a team that analyzed Dreyfus's PET scan. What did you think when you heard a story? I assumed immediately he had the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. But why would patients want to know if they have a disease with no cure? They can seek out clinical trials. They can think about doing more physical exercise. We know that physical exercise slows the progression. The scan found no detectable plaques in Dreyfus's brain meaning he does not have Alzheimer's. The chances of, of this happening, you know, the first scan being negative in this context, um, are, are just infinitesimal. I was, I was shocked beyond belief. I, you could knock me over with a feather. Before this new test, Alex Dreyfus might have spent his last years falsely believing he had a terrible disease. Now doctors will look for a potentially treatable cause for his memory issues. Has the result changed your outlook at all? Yes. In what way? I'm not trying to do as much, what do I have to do to wrap up things so that I'm not, you know, my wife and I talked about uh, possibly making other living arrangements. And I think all that's changed. We'll just take it one day at a time. The new test is just coming into use, costs $3,250, and is not covered by Medicare. It raises several ethical issues, such as how the results might be used by insurance companies and employers. Fascinating, doctor. Thanks very much.